Now, we promised you earlier that we would try to return to the Ray of Hope. And this week, we're telling you about a church that has stepped in to feed the homeless with a traditional Easter treat. Every year, Christians across the world come together to commemorate the death and resurrection of Jesus during Easter. In Jamaica, the activities include eating bun and cheese, but not everyone can afford to do so. Here's where the Jamaica Restoration Breakthrough PhD Ministries stepped in to help. The people are out there, many of them are hungry, homeless, and they're on the streets. It's the Lord says, feed them. Founder Reverend Mark Stewart says his church started a feeding program one year ago, catering every Saturday to people in infirmaries and those living on the streets in Spanish Town and downtown Kingston. For this Easter, the church raised the funds to buy 1,000 buns. Just going out on the road and feeding the homeless and to see how grateful they are, receiving these stuff from week to week. I'm so happy. When one can look on you and say that God bless you, you know, and you see the joy on their faces when you give back, when you give to them, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling. They're very much appreciative and, you know, it's just God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, you know. We, we help them to eat a meal, they can go rest and, and, and relax knowing that their, their tummy is full. I'm do a, a, a good job. Well, I feel good I mean, and God bless him because he have a good mind. If he never have a good mind for the poor people, he would have stayed away there and not give them nothing. Reverend Stewart says he too was homeless at one point in his life. I got thrown out at age 18, went on the streets, and it was literally people who took care of me. It's like giving back. You know, you know what it feels like to be hungry. You don't want anybody to be hungry. He says the street people are not... Everyone deserves to be treated as equals. When you're giving people something, you don't give them what left or what you don't want. You give them the very best. Because the Bible says give and it will come back, pressed down, shaken together and running over. With a ray of hope, I'm Ken Morgan.